Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards and thank you so much for joining me today. I am back with episode 25 of my Shop Your Crafty Stash series and I've been waiting all year for Christmas stamps to come up and now I've had two in a row <laughs> so I can't complain anymore. So the random number generator selected out my little agenda stamp set from Mama Elephant. This is the little gingerbread agenda. And then I also selected the Lawn for an Outside In Stitched Mug. And so I paired it up with the stitched mug frame. I'm also bringing in the Mama Elephant, oh, sorry, the Lawn Fawn Stitched Cupcake for that little bit of cream that I'm going to use for my hot chocolate. And the Mama Elephant Everything Nice stamp set with the coordinating dies. Now, I feel like I, this looks a bit dodgy, like I've paired it up intentionally, but honestly, this is what the random number generator chose today, um, but they work perfectly together. So I have gone ahead and cut out all of the little elements that I'll need, and I have colored out some of my little gingerbread there, and I have stamped out my sentiment and die cut it out. I've stamped that out with Catherine Pooler Rockin' Red ink, which is my new favorite red, I think. I really like it. So I'm going to start with the shaker and I'm going to start by doing just a tiny little bit of ink blending on here just to create a little bit of contrast. So this is that Catherine Pooler Rockin' Red ink and this is Lawn Fawn Guava cardstock, this kind of pinky red cardstock that I've used for the frame. And I'm just kind of adding a little bit of ink towards the bottom of the mug. Just want to create a slight gradient and give it a little bit of interest and, and definition, I guess. Here is that little cream piece which came from the stitched cupcake die and I'm using some Concord and Ninth wheat ink which is a very light brown ink and it's just giving it the slightest hint of um, colour. So it's not hugely noticeable but it's just a little bit and I'm just adding it kind of here and there on that little bit of um, cream just to get again give it a little bit more interest and depth. And once that is done, I'll set those off to the side. I have gone ahead and created my kind of shaker at the front, I guess, for my shaker card here. So I've attached the acetate down and then I've used some Heffy Doodle foam strips to create the actual well of my shaker. And I'm pulling out this Apawesome Stamps Roasted Coffee Sequin Mix, which I thought worked perfectly for that kind of hot chocolate. I'm also adding some Lucy's Little Things um, Itty Bitty Stars. This is in clear iridescent color. And now I'll remove that backing paper and attach that background piece on top. This background piece is, um, I want to say Roasted Coffee cardstock from Lawn Fawn, um, coffee grounds, something like that, coffee something, <laughs> cardstock from Lawn Fawn. It's a really dark brown and I just thought it worked well as hot chocolate. I could of course have done some ink blending or some Copic colouring on white cardstock to create that hot chocolate in the back but I just went with ease today and just went with the dark brown cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my little piece of cream on top there and once that's in place, give it a little shake because why not? And then I'm going to attach some of my little gingerbread men. Now, I spent ages today fiddling around with my little gingerbread men, trying to figure out where I wanted them to go. Um, <laughs> yeah, it took me a while, but yeah, we got there in the end. So I'm just sticking this little guy into that little slit at the top of my cream. Then I was kind of fiddling around with other ones on the mug and kept changing my mind about where I wanted things. I was just in one of those moods today, I think. I just couldn't quite figure out where I wanted things to go. And I was, yeah, I spent a long time playing around with my little images and they're tiny. <laughs> and yeah, it was fun, but I just could, I don't know, just couldn't figure it out today. So I took a piece of um, a Lawn Fawn flower market paper and I cut it with a stitched rectangle and I'm going to attach that on to this guava card base. So this um, flower market paper, the reverse side has this kind of, looks like a candy stripe to me and I thought it worked well with the colours that I've used. This was a freebie that I got in one of the Lawn Fawn orders that I placed. So it's cut from a 12 by 12 a piece of paper pack and I just thought it worked really nicely with the colours that I had. 
And then I decided to have that little frame of guava around the outside of that so that I've stuck that down onto the guava cardstock. And now I'm attaching my little elements here. So my cup is going to be up towards the top and my sentiment at the bottom. And I managed to drop my sentiment. Luckily, <laughs> it didn't cause too much of a mess. I'm so clumsy, honestly. So once that was in place, I kind of fiddled around with my gingerbread men some more and tried to figure out where I wanted them and couldn't quite decide. I messed around with this for quite some time, um, most of it not on camera, thankfully, <laughs> so I didn't subject you to that. I just, I don't know what it was today, I just could not figure it out. But I did kind of decide that I was going to put my two kind of more Christmassy uh, gingerbread men on either side of my sentiment here down at the bottom. So there's one that's kind of looks a little bit like a Christmas tree tangled up in lights and with a little Santa hat on and then another one with a Santa hat and candy cane so they kind of brought the more Christmassy element to it and then I was like well should I leave it at that do I put some on the mug do I use I just really could not decide and then I figured well these two little guys look like they're kind of holding hands it's a little girl and a little boy gingerbread man and I thought that was kind of sweet. I couldn't decide whether I wanted it on there or not and then decided I would go ahead and pop them down. Um, I still feel like looking at it like there's something missing from this card and I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Um, I tried all sorts of things. I pulled out sequins. I pulled out clay pieces to try and stick them down in various places. I just couldn't decide. <laughs> so anyway, I created a card base from some Lawn Fawn 110 pound white card stock. I stamped that greeting, season's greetings in the center in that rock and red ink and used my last little gingerbread man on the inside there as well. And then I trimmed my card panel down just by one sixteenth of an inch all the way around the edge. So they got a nice white border around and I really liked the look of that. But as I say, I was still looking at it thinking like it was missing something, but I just couldn't figure out what, so I left it. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, it's a fun little Christmas card to add to my collection anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you come back and join me again. And please feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for joining me today.